Well, Rob, we're going to play a war game. What are we going to play? We're going to play boat action 54 millimeter uh, with all the modifications that we have had to do with 54 millimeter to make it playable in 54s, which I think actually boat action works better in 54 millimeter than it does uh, for uh, 25s that it was designed for. We, uh, everything, movement firing, everything is at 150%. In other words, um, Rather than shoot um, 9 and 18, you'll shoot um, 150%. And look at that. Ron's got the rules right there on the wall. Uh, and again, the <laughs> rules are on the wall, uh, and they are, um, I'll go over uh, just an example. Rather than move 6 and 12, what our infantry moves is um, 9 and 18. Rather than shoot a rifle, um, 18, uh, 6, and 12, and 24, you shoot a rifle 18 and 36, and so on and so on. Um, it, but um, that's, um, I added my, you edit the us off. Here, what we're going to, the, all right, you can start again. And I sit up quickly a couple hours last night. But um, what we have here is an Italian force and a French force. This would be the, Fr the Italians invaded France. Um, that would be uh, the May, May of 1940, if I'm correct. But at the same time that the Germans were coming through the Ardennes, the Italians wanted to get in on it also. Uh, even the French may have uh, sent some troops into what is now Yugoslavia. To fight the Italians, but we're going over the two armies rather quickly here, and um, here we go. We have a, a squad of these brand new 3D printed oh. Great White Hunter helmet. Um, this particular unit is veteran. It only has eight guys, um, six rifles, a submachine gun, and a light machine gun. We have a three-man unit anti-tank rifle. This is the neatest anti-tank I've ever seen, or, and the biggest. But um, the, the modification right away, this, this looks so nice, it has a magazine. Anti-tank rifle gets two shots. Still, penetration is just a plus two. We have a uh, medium machine gun, that's a dice. We have leader, headquarters, two guys, that's one dice. And for people who hadn't played Boat action, each unit gets one order dice. Then we have a regular Italian unit and the European Theater Operation uniform that gets one dice. Then we have a 1441 tank. Oh, I got caught up to you, Ron. All right. Thank you. All right, so start the armor again. And here we have the Italian armor, which was extremely effective against Ethiopians with spears. Well, not so much against other um, but uh, other people, but we have an Italian um, two M1441s, even though it's 1940, uh, details, details. We have a um, Italian uh, mortar crew right here with their, again, oh, that's just, cool. just a toy, <laughs> a toy that you, I got out of a junk box, but with a little paint, uh, you have a, and a little paint and uh, this one was actually broken. It had pieces broken off. I just uh, glued stuff on. And uh, what are you going to do? It has no driver. If you go in your junk box, you find um, uh, a stern wheel or a wheel. You put find go to the hardware store and find a little L-shaped piece. You put a magnet in, and now you have a... Uh, and, of course, if he gets killed, you can take him out. That's what we like about magnets. And here we have an Italian mortar. That gets a dice. And right here, you have a summonate. This really wasn't invented yet. So this is an experimental model, the very first one ever made. Um, that's in, invading France. This had a this had a good gun on it, a 75. The German paratroopers used this in Italy, even after Germ uh, Italy surrendered. The Germans used this quite a bit. Now in Botax, and usually we had this is eight dice. But Bill, we, but he's only going to get six. We, right. have, we have found that 
Uh, should I two. pause the camera here and we go do the French forces? We could, yes. We'll go do French forces. All right, I'll pause the camera we, here. We have found one thing. Okay, so to carry on, Ron, I had to set up our tripod. All right, one thing we have found in playing boat action. We have found that it's much more fun to have 10 units aside, 12 units aside, or even less, and get in 6, 8, 10 turns rather than have 20 or 25 units and get one turn. Our games and most of the guys in our group, uh, especially a couple, they can't play more than four or five hours. So, um, and we had had games that in boat action uh, tried to, to do it in Napoleonics and change it over where we only got in two turns. So keep it, keep it small. 12 dice is about the limit. And what we have done even to make it more fun here lately is 12 dice is the limit, but if your points, you, in other words, it's a fantasy, like fantasy football, you, you get points. If your points, you have been able to buy cheaper units and say you got 16 units, big deal. You only still get 12 dice. It's another decision. Each turn, you make, you have to make decisions on, am I gonna use that order dice here or there? And what unit is not gonna get a dice this turn? This makes it fun. Here we go with the French. Uh, army. Are you doing the armor first or infantry we're first? We're going to do the infantry first all because right. um, I, I, my... I want, um, we haven't got this done in all of them, but what we enjoy a lot is for a two man team or a three man team, have three men. This is a medium, this is a heavy machine gun. Oh, hold, oh, hold on. There we go. Let me get a close up. That all looks right. great. This is a heavy machine gun team. We have three carrying it. And then, when they get somewhere and they set up, and they have to, you have to spend an order to set up a, a heavy machine gun. You've got it set up and firing. So, in other words, for three guys, we've got six figures. The same thing with this anti-tank rifle. This is the anti-tank rifle on the move, and this is the anti-tank rifle set up. Of course, most people will realize this is an Atlantic Russian that I had uh, to cut the head off and make a, make a French helmet. And, but that's the thing about inexpensive plastic figures, you can modify them. But that gets, in other words, six, six figures representing only three, four figures representing only two. On the move, set up. Here is an infantry squad, one dice, I, and here's your leader uh, in, in a they get a dice. Okay. Now we're going over to the French armor, which um, was actually, some of it was pretty good, but you got to know how to use your armor, and the French didn't. Um, I have made cards for some of the French armor. This is the H39 Char de Carrier. I, uh, my English isn't that great, much less French. But right here, a card, this speeds game up. You have your speed, your armor, uh, your ranges, everything here. Now, what a little bit unique about the French tanks is, of course, their their guns aren't aren't worth a happy uh, plus three. But on the French tanks, especially this model, getting to the side of the rear doesn't help you at all. They're as well armored on the side and the rear as they are in the front. A big disadvantage, though, is it's a one-man turret. Um, you can't advance and fire with the, this particular French tank because it's too much for the um, thing to do. Of course, we have a Suma S. This is a good tank, and if the, the French had had their act together, this, uh, this could take on the Germans pretty good. Infantry squad, infantry squad, and another Chardy de Cabaret with, with, a, uh, with a card, with a card which sure helps out quite a bit. Now what, uh, we, and, okay, well, we are preparing to start our bolt action in 54 millimeter. I have the Italian Army, and this is just a snippet to add into the video. And these figures here were 3D printed by the great Josh Warliff. So we are ready to go. And now what are we playing? We're playing uh, bolt action 54 millimeter, the Italian. Uh, invasion of France and are this could be uh, what the former Yugoslavia or they 
French could have sent some troops into Yugoslavia as the Italians uh, came in. Uh, in May 1940, I, I think, I didn't read up on this, all the details before we started. Some, we do have many modifications, but one of the things that I, I found good for all wargaming is we, do, we always use trays to roll our dice in. Here at this war game center, if the dice pops out of the tray, that doesn't count. It, it, it keeps from dice being all over the table, dice hitting your figures, dice mixing in with other dice. But uh, we use trays. I usually have four of them on the four corners of the table, and the dice have to be in a tray to count. Now, I'm going to go over some of the modifications that well, we use. At I have to ask a question. If Goober rolls a die with his paw and it pops out of the tray, does he get to re-roll that die or is it dead? Yeah, he gets to re-roll. Okay. You know, and he gets to re-roll that die. But it doesn't count. Um, we have tried, uh, if it drops out of the tray, it's zero or it pops off the table. It's the worst possible uh, draw. But we won't do that here. Now, some of the modifications we use in boat action are... We find it more fun with the least dice. I think um, that Bill has nine units here. I'm gonna give him nine dice. The French are not as good. They have eight units. I wanna give them six dice. So it's gonna be a little bit, uh, and we do this a lot. You get less dice than you have units. Bill said he hadn't played for a year, so I decided to give him a full one dice per, uh, per unit. Some of the modifications we use in boat action, so we have to do it because it's 54 millimeter. We punt the one inch per figure because our stands are so big, they're one inch apart anyway. Our measurements are all from squad to squad from the squad leader because 10 man squad could be, that could be 12, 10 to 12 inches wide. So the squad leader, you try to keep him kind of in the middle, but the measurement is from the squad leader. All measurements, uh, movement and firing, are from the squad leader, even if they're scattered out. Um, and some are over here, and some of closer range than others. In other words, you're shooting at an angle. The squad leader, you have to have one point. That's where the measurement is from, and the measurement is from the squad leader. Um, and from if it's a gun, it's from the axle. If it's a tank, it's from the front hull of the tank. Um, another modification in squad leader, you never ever, boat action I meant, you never kill the squad leader. Now also, it would seem that if you, it was the same percentage, you kill three guys in the squad to get a squad leader, or if you kill one guy in a squad. So we use a 10-sided, if, if it's a 10-sided, here today we're going to use 10-sided dice to kill the squad leader. If you kill one guy, a one kills a squad leader. Kill two, a one and two kills, kill three, one, two, three. In other words, if you hurt the squad more, you have a higher percentage of getting the squad leader. That's, um, that's another modification that we have. Of course, we have 150% on all their measurements. We also allow, where Botox says an advance is to move and fire, we allow our fire and move because, um, you know, um, in the retreat, you're all you're going to want to shoot before you move. Those um, are some also and boat action ahead of a terrible close assault rules. We let it go for a long time because it was the same for both sides. We have now, but one time I think we had a squad that was down and had several pins on it a fresh squad hit it even a better quality troop squad squad leader rule book says being down having pins no effect that's changed and the way we have modified squad leader if you have a pin that guy doesn't fight and a down unit can never fight first a down unit in a good defensive position i can fight um simultaneous but it never fight first so yeah a pin that guy doesn't fight so six guys going to close assault one pin five fight you know seven guys going to a close assault and they're down and three pins uh, you're only going to fight with 
four guys and you're going to fight even even if you're in a good defensive position you're going to fight simultaneously that's um some of the modifications i can think of right now all Others right will come along as we as we go i'm going to set the camera up here ryan and we'll just play okay and i'll take uh, i'll set this up here all right, everyone, we're going to be playing right now. We are, uh, Ron has uh, French first, and since I'm Italian, that means he's going first. And he gave me a tape measure, everyone. So. Oh, and you got this too, just in case. And I got my rulers. So. There we go. So Ron has to decide what to move first. Gonna you move uh, his song? Some um, slow tank, so we hit the, another advantage. You're going to get the road bonus, and I'm not. You know what? 14 and 27 is what um, is what. That's the sum. Uh, I got to wear glasses to play both tags because I can't read the. I can't read the damn. So, that's one thing I I like of Botex, and it's clear. You know, um, oh, I could go 27 though, because uh, but I don't get the I don't get the road bonus. You get the road bonus wow. for tanks. The, you know? the French tank is cruising down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to. All right, but I, you get the road bonus at 50 50 percent more. I don't. Okay. Uh, I hope those models. We got a lot of modifications. I just couldn't. I was having a real Biden moment there. You know, I couldn't think of the modifications. All right, I'm going to move my my tank forward. So I'm going to look for my. Well, he can go 27, and 50 percent of 27 is uh, another 14. That's uh, 51, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you can go 51 and stay on the road. Of course, 51, you're going to be. Uh, That's 24 there. All right, so well, four. All right, uh, too much. Uh, oh, let's see. Half of half of fifty. Um, well, I'm going to keep going. I just broke okay. it down to that twenty-four spot. Twenty-four. So okay. twenty-four from fifty-one. We got to do major math here. Uh, Twenty twenty-six more. So I'm going to come over the bridge. Okay. So they're, they're ready to. There's ten. Ready to fight. Oh, by the way, what we uh, uh, I forgot. Um, have you decided to stay up or go down? Um, I'm staying up because and I want to be able to see you. I, and I did uh, the run, correct? Yeah, the run. Run. All right. Okay. So my tank is cruising down the road. We think you'll do a whole turn and turn the camera on, or is the camera going to be rolling all the time? I have it running right now. Oh, okay. Running right now. Yeah. So we, we need to do a clean language. We have to do clean language. As I say, watch them words, watch them words. Like, uh, yeah, we don't have Walt Leach here, so I don't may not have to edit as much as normal. All right. And that's all in fun, Walt. Right. I know you're going to be watching this. Italians, all right. Um, so in most of our games, the heels do not hurt movement at all. It hurts line of sight. Well, well line of sight. I want to get across the river, so I'm going to bring my next tank, which I know can move. The same amount as the last yeah, one. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna seven plus twenty-seven plus fourteen is uh, yeah. It so could, I'm gonna be on the bridge. All right, and you can turn since you you can turn your. Now may I turn the turret? Of course. Of course. Okay, I All gotta right. get my die and put it with that. Okay, as you hand your die over, well. Now my infantry crossing this river. Do I need to oh, go across I need the bridge? To do, um, Let's see, we gotta think of the, the river. Uh, this, uh, we need a river rule because Yeah, you do we do. Um, my my infantry, I mean am I having to go across this bridge? River river it's the low river, it's advance. That's it. It has to be an advance. Okay. Uh, but the river is not gonna be a big deal. For tanks, uh, tanks on a run can bog. But if tanks advance, uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, if it just advanced, they go. But if tanks run, they'll bog on a five or six. All right. All right. And more Italians. Okay, I'm going to move my truck up and put it on this hill, and I'm going to set up my mortar. Okay. You know, the mortar, uh, it doesn't have to be 
exposed like that. You got. I, I can you set can, it back in here. So yeah, and you can put the spotter up there. Okay. Yeah. So, so. Put, set up the mortar, um, and it, just use the whole turn to set it up. Set up the mortar, uh, maybe behind, even behind the truck, a little bit of cover too, and the th with the three man crew what around. Are they here? Well, he's still. Is that a legal move? Oh sure. Well, we does not We won't go with legals and all that, but. Um, yeah, and then put your spotter up there. Yeah. So, yeah, the, yeah, 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 it's good. So I got my spotter, I got my truck, and then I'm doing what? Run? Yeah, run. This? Yeah. That's okay. A, that's a run. Now, how far can my spotter well, move? Did he have enough movement to get to there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, then, yeah, put him up. Oh uh, well, he can go uh, 18. No way. The truck went. He had to unload. That's good. We won't okay. bother. Okay. Yeah. So he's and, look, uh, looking out here. We'll say that's just an advance. Okay. That way, that mortar is set up. The next turn, it can shoot. That, uh, there we go. All right, and so uh, finally, a I got my mortar again. here. And the Frenchies um, are going to run with a um, heavy machine gun team. Is right here. A run, and uh, the heavy machine gun team gets here. Okay. All right. And here we go with, uh, again, uh, French. Okay. French. And over here. Ron has cool rulers. Check this out, everyone. <laughs> They're like nunchucks. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We have French coming down the edge of the table flanking us. Yeah. The French, the sneaky, the sneaky French are coming. So, if I understand. Now, what is that? Is that a machine gun team? That is an anti tank rifle team. Okay. You know, so. That's an, an anti tank rifle guy. The, the Russian with the uh, Atlantic makes a, 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 a great anti tank. This is the way it comes. Okay. Bill. But the problem is, it's a Russian, so you have to cut the head off. And I did a video last week of cutting the heads off and regluing other heads. Yeah, so. with the uh, Boxer Rebellion. Boxer Rebellion. Well, well, thank I you have, for watching my channel, Ron. Well, I have that uh, another. Uh, I have another. Uh, uh, another French unit is coming on French. everyone. And, again, and uh, they're running eighteen. It's gonna. I think, uh, oh, by the way, on your, uh, uh, do my, my, uh, if I run with my Italians, do they go 18 also? Yes, yes. Okay. And, uh, and I'll go, I'll go over, uh, show you which one, um, it should be pretty, uh, easy to pick uh, out, pick out the, uh, the leaders, although, um. Well, I can I'm, tell he's a leader here, I think, right? Yeah, I got the, uh, yeah, that's a leader there, and. Oh, and that's the leader there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I got my leaders picked. All right. And, and a Frenchie again. Another French unit. And, and uh, I don't know whose side Goober is on, but it, usually he determines whose side he's on at the end of the game. Oh, by the way, these fences, if you hit them straight away, it's no big deal. But if you hit, if you turn, and you can, you can bog. Okay. You know, if you hit them sideways. But... Uh, all right. Oh, well, we got a French tank coming up. Another. Okay. By the way, how big is your table? Someone will six, ask me. A t uh, twelve and a half by six. Twelve and a half by six, everyone. And, and these tables, you can buy them anywhere, thirty inches by six. So you put five of them together, and it, you have one hundred and fifty inches by six feet. Okay. And uh, what I did is. Uh, I measured the room and got enough table to fit. <laughs> That's what, what it was. Italian. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to send this squad up. I'm going to have them run. Okay. And, and that hill is nothing. So I can go up 18 inches. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking my squad leader and I moved him up to there. Oh. And then they all fit around them, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can scatter them out. Uh, yeah, uh, up uh, as long as yeah, and you can t touch the stands if you wish to. If you wish, doesn't matter. They can be spread. Now, one thing I forgot: these hills, Bill, 
I've made six or eight of them, and they're in the they're in the uh, in the closet there. Uh, also, but these aren't that terribly hard to make, you know. I don't, and they're not. Uh, it takes takes some time, but when you're retired, that's um, when you're a, re a man of leisure like well, you are, and you're, you're not retired, doing any more movies, right? No, no. I didn't like movie stars younger than the 70s. You know, something like that. Yeah. Am I, I'm up again. So right. I'm going to send up... I'm going to move the uh, the second squad up. Okay, second... And I'm going to send them towards there. Uh-huh. So that way they can cover the bridge. And there's my leader. So they're heading towards the bridge on the cover. And that's the one that... 21st century made some night with, uh, you know, one weapon, you know, rifle or nothing, you know. There we go. Okay. And a, a Frenchie. Now, what can everyone see here? I just move those up. Oh, and the objective is uh, to hold that, that bridge. Okay, the bridge is the objective. I'm going to get that anti-tank gun up that would be my and yours fires twice the reason for that is it look it's got a magazine on it when i saw that i went holy holy christmas this is nice oh well, yeah i've never seen uh my anti-tank gun gets to fire twice because of the magazine the it's got a got a magazine all right all right we're gonna We're going to set up the, uh, we're going to, how far is my heavy machine gun run? It's still 18. Okay. We're going to put that up here to, uh. In, in time, I will, uh, make a, uh, three guys, uh, running with it. There. And, and our then, German, and my German army and my Russian army, everything, all teams have, uh, you know, two guys represent one. Okay, green. Okay, I got Well, the anti tank weapon, which is sort of useless. <laughs> with a plus two, these aren't. Oh, that's right, these are eights. The best you can do, the best you can do, it is kind of useless here. Because the best you can do is superficial damage. You know, I, t I just thought that. We didn't put any light tanks on here. All well, right. I did. I got light tanks, but. They're light tanks with armors of eight. Uh, I'm going to set it up here the next turn and just oh, have it cover the bridge. But my tanks are inexperienced. Inexperienced tanks take a pin anytime you hit them. Where most tanks, regular tanks, if the pot, it's a 50% chance if you have a weapon that can hit that could possibly damage. In other words, you roll a six for damage and it gets to whatever they're and you roll a 50%, whether you get a pin or not. Now, a veteran tank, you actually have to do damage to get a pin. Okay. But the thing about inexperienced tanks, and I have two of them, is all you have to do is hit it for a pin. Okay. And of course, tanks don't have a... The bad thing about tanks is you can't... The only way to get a pin off is do a rally. You know? So we have another French unit moving, everyone. Huh? And we're trying to keep our full action game um, going in live action and 54 millimeter. And this is just such a treat to play here at Ron's house. Um, it's a secret location at Ron's. It's sort of near uh, Bull Run Manassas Battlefield. If, uh, would be a, Between uh, that and Quantico. And Quantico. So at the secret lair. This is the war cave. The war cave, that is correct. This is the war cave. I gotta figure out what we should call the Chucklehead uh, war gaming room in uh, Walt's house. Okay. And I am up again. Yeah, the, the, this is Ron's war cave. You haven't moved your leader and you haven't moved uh, your Sominiti. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm gonna send this. Um, it's a 14 and 27. Yeah, we're going to go 14 right along the edge of the table. It ends up about here. The reason is, is i, I got to make sure I have some armor on this flank, I think. 
Now that okay. was um, an advance, right? Yes. Oh, if you only won half, you could you could actually fire. No, I, I went fourteen. So is that yeah, a run? That's just an, that's just an advance. Twenty seven's a run. Okay, I, I went uh, fourteen advanced. And and what's your range on your gun? You want to try a shot? I'll let you do a shot so we can so we can get the first get the All shooting right. then. So my my uh, weapon's a seventy five millimeter, ninety inches long, one shot. I need it five to penetrate. All right, let's see uh, uh, how far is it uh, there. You're, I'm going to get. Okay, everyone. So we have a tank. And sorry about that. Um, well, first, first shot of the game. First shot of the big, game. Biggest, biggest gun in the game, and you would you, it, that's. And I'm going to let him shoot right. Uh, now he's going. It's not going to be long. It's going to be obscured because he's mm -hmm. shooting right through an infantry squad, and he is out of range. I am out of range, but, everyone. But he fired. He fired. I anyway. fired, and my shell went short. Went short, you know. Well, fi fired, fired anyway. We we'll, we'll keep the uh, keep it, and I believe that's uh, all I have left is my squad leader team. All right, and have a very uh, conflict is uh, close. All right, let's pick all up. And uh, all right, we're gonna pick up you, all our dice, everyone. Now you have nine. What the? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I have seven. Guess what happened to me? I so I actually have more dice. To do more things with, so I'm yes. hoping to draw first on what I'm hoping to have happen. Okay, is I'll yeah. draw first and fire that tank. You have nine. I have tank. seven. All right, that's. Uh, and Ron's going to shake up the bag. All right, you got two somewhere. Here's one. And you got one. Somewhere. Oh, the other tank has one underneath. It's his right fender, Ron. I forgot to pick the it up. The right fender trick. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right, you have uh, nine. I have seven. I have two that didn't move over there. And here we go. Uh, and here we go. Ryan's going to put the here and here. It uh, gets starts getting critical. And quickly. we're we're right we on top of each other already, already with armor and um, and so forth. So we're going to demonstrate how uh, both action. Now we're going to move our eight. camera angle, everyone. They're just going to be three shots. Okay. All. So they're going to be, what's the range is leader to leader. Here's my leader, your leader. He's right there. I believe. 36. I believe they're out of range on the, the only shot I have is the two BAR guys, which goes up to 54. Long range, they advance, so the rifles are out. But I got two guys with, it's a potato man. What it is, it's, it's a potato digger. Okay. If I, these are World War I figures. So it's a potato digger light machine gun. I got two of them, six shots. It's okay. long range, plus um, it is um, long range, light cover, because you're crossing more than two obstacles. See, this is something that could be covered, and this is something that could be covered. Okay. And even though we're not up to them, one of them, nothing. But two, yes. So, six shots, and we hit on five and six, because one off for advance, one off for the obstacles, and way too much of it, which is a, a total, brings it up to light cover. Six shots, five and six. Um, two hits. Now, those are veterans, aren't they? Yes, those are my good ones. All right, then uh, I get a pin for sure, but do I kill anybody? One. Now, I killed one and one pin. And let me go over how we do, about what we use for pins. Okay. What we use for pins is you take a grommet, a metal grommet. Okay. See, it looks like a bullet hit okay a metal grommet and that's a pin and you put uh cotton dried cotton around it now that's an eight man unit yeah okay what we'll do we'll make it a little more bloody today all units are be, be considered to be eight man units okay and they're eight man units everyone eight uh as far as 
killing officers. All units are going to be considered eight. I killed one, so I get a chance of one only. I have to roll one to kill an officer or kill a key figure. And the way it works is it's not really, you shouldn't really say officer because sometimes you don't want to kill the officer, you want to get the light machine gunner or something. But I have to get a one. Okay. And uh, if I kill two, I have to get a one or two. And I rolled a seven. So officer is fine. Bill picks who's dead, not me. Sometimes okay. people will get rid of their submachine gunners and they think it's too open. But anyhow, Bill picks, I don't. I'm going to take a rifleman. Now, All right. do you want me to lay him down or remove Th him from this the table? we just lay him down. All right, we're going to lay him down. He is he is no longer with us. All right. Uh, R. And one of these days, and of course I'm big on this. They're not painted right, though. But anyway. Oh. I like, you know, I have Germans, too. But uh, we just lay them down. It just looks better for the camera, you know. If you so, have, I have German casualties so right here. Ron has boxes of casualties. Yeah, but I don't have Italians. He doesn't have helmet. Italians. Let's lay them lay so down. We're gonna lay them down. It, it adds, adds to the visual to have nice casualty figures. But that's the first blood of the game. A dead veteran Italian. I think that happened more than once in this war, you know, and uh, Italian again. All right, well, I'm going to get this machine gun set up on this hill right here. Okay, and uh, you can just put it in advance, and then it's all set, ready to go. Okay. That's a medium machine gun, four shots. All right, then he advanced. Advanced and set up, he's set up. He's set up, and then he's... Shoot, you'll be able to shoot over the heads of that exactly. infantry. And, okay. and that's a little modification. Uh, the Boat Action Rulebook lets team weapons move and set up free as, the, you know, as if it took nothing. Even uh, and personal experience, um, a squad leader of machine gun squad a thousand years ago had just invented machine guns. And it takes a little while to set up a even a light machine gun, it takes a minute or two to set it up. You can't just flop down and, and start shooting immediately. We have let that go on your regular light machine guns in a squad. We've said, okay, you can shoot right away. Just move and shoot right But not on team weapons. We acquire at least an advance to set up. All right, and more Frenchies. Now, the song missed, didn't it? Uh, the Frenchies are going to be heavy on... This, this side, we... Well, they're, they're heading towards that bridge, everybody. Yeah, the uh, Frenchies are, are big on uh, kind of overloading the, the side over here. And this is the only... Uh, and notice, uh, notice, boys and girls, that uh, every, every unit is a little different so that you don't, don't get your units confused but um, and the battle is taking shape more Italians okay um, does my cider see, see? yeah okay. should I move him up more be, and then be able to sight better or is he okay where he's at uh, for purposes of learning uh, the game you can say he's okay Right. Uh, well, he would would be better forward. I'm going to move up he to can, that now. He leaving. can sight, but he can sight and shoot this turn and move. All right. I'm going to move him up to the here. And I'm and I'm going to so if you get your keep you from me your, the boat action. I'm still going to let you shoot before he before he he radioed. Uh, oh, by the way, I got to show you the the the, uh, the radio that uh, the three okay. D printed guy came up with. <laughs> But anyway, you've got, so, we're gonna, what's it, what can he see from back there that could be a target? Well, I was... Can he see your anti-tank weapon squad coming up? Yes, he might can. And here is a, a way to make sure to see if you can get your... Uh, your head there and see if it, you can see. So, Ron has a periscope, everyone. And I'm going to try to climb in here and 
Oh, well, you can set it here. Maybe uh -huh. he, set it here. It'd be a lot easier. We we'll say it's the same. Okay. We're not, that's yeah. And come come around, and or you can lean over and do it. Gosh, I do not see him, Ron. I got stuff in the way. Oh, we catch him. You do have stuff in the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. All right, everyone, using Ron's periscope, I have stuff in the way, and this thing is really neat. Um, so now where the spotter is in the future, though, I should be in good shape. Should be in good shape. All right, right. so have we you use... Got, have you got one of these? No, I do not. Well, I got three. No. So the periscope thing is very interesting. Well, I, have, I have three. This is a pretty one. I got two others that aren't so pretty. So that, that was an experience using the, the uh, periscope. All right, so I advanced him, so I guess pull another die out of the bag. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. He'd... All right, yeah, another. All right, I, I got a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm going to get this anti-tank uh, rifle up. I'm going to run them up, and they go 18. So, yeah, I have plenty of time. I can set this up. And get this ready All right, for yeah. next turn. Now, the most I can do is pin him, right? Yeah. When we get to that. Well, no, no uh, it's a plus two. That's armor of eight. You could hit a six, and a six is superficial damage. Superficial damage sometimes is uh, sets it on fire, okay. and, they, and you don't put it out. All right. That's the best superficial damage is uh you, you cause a fire and and you don't you, and you don't it doesn't get put so out so we've advanced the anti-tank gun and ron is now giving me another die um boy neither one of us are using our commander very good but anyway my uh if i advance him closer am i any better to hit with this with what Oh, you haven't shot him this turn? No. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. There. I thought I had. All right. He's under. I can't shoot this tank because I've already fired it. I'm looking. I'm going to move my leader up. All right. Leader comes up. Oh, and he could help. Um, he could help with the morale when they anti-tank rifle. The leaders. Uh, that's a real weakness. Tanks and boat action is the leaders. Uh, unless you're doing a tank rules out of the tank book, the leaders squad leaders team helping tanks another italian okay. and you have moved everybody but i think that infantry squad yeah and i'm gonna have them running 18 i'm heading for that bridge okay so i'll help you let me move, get my, just, just move the leader my, okay that's the leader yeah 18 puts him right here if you want okay let's get these guys out by that bridge yeah well you can I guess you're going to keep, because next turn, I think we're going to try to take the tank across the bridge and take that, prepare to assault the village with that squad. Okay, and the last thing is a Frenchie, and uh, a So Frenchie. we are prepared to cross the bridge and take that brick house. Hopefully we can go first, and... Right. 14... Here. But Ron's putting pressure on this flank. Okay, 14 is an advance, and he will shoot even though um, he's only got a plus three. Okay. But maybe a plus three, I haven't worked it out in my head. Uh, and plus three. Range is, oh, and now there is an obstacle. There's a, that's going to be light cover. That's a... Uh, uh, I think it's 72. That's 36 and uh, 36 and 26 is uh, 62, isn't it? Yep. 62. That's a light any tank gun. I'm in range. All right, I'm long range. And Ron's rules are all two. on the walls everywhere. All right, this is what, <laughs> this is a situation. I started out hitting three, four, five, six. I lose a three for advancing. I lose the four for long range. I lose the five because this obstacle is uh, in the way. Well, that's uh, let's do the O. You got a periscope? Why don't you use it? 
Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ron's using his periscope. Why don't you use it? You got one. It's level. You can even can. I, guess what? I was correct. I cannot. I can see the tank, but not very good. Okay. In fact, I can. It obscures the tank so much. It's still light cover because the shell would go through a wooden wall. Okay. All right, so it's going to be a six. All right. But so I can see the top. That's all, right. all I can do. It so has to be a six to he hit. He needs a and, six to hit me. And do not. He does not. Do not hit. All right. We got shells blazing all over the table, everyone. All right. So no tanks are down. And it is three turns. And it's, two, it's break for junk food. Okay. Break for junk food, everyone. All right, here we go. My dice are over there, Ron. We are going into, what, turn three? Turn three. We've had that. some Cheez-Its and some Dr. Diet Pepper. And okay. Ron's a great host. Um, Except I don't, I should have steaks when, uh, oh, that's, when a war game legend like Bill Moore. Oh, I'm not a war game game. legend. And as you know, my wife has some health issues, so I can't stay all day. I need to get back home. Um, and I'm wondering... We're, uh, we're doing the big dice hunt right now. Seven. So right now, one Italian has been, has assumed room. Yes, I, I lost one soldier, but I am hoping my dice come up first, and I'm going to advance that tank across that bridge and uh, push. Yeah, you got a tank in the way. <laughs> now, and uh, so only one trooper has assumed room temperature. Correct. You know? And this this uh, this turn, although it's only turn three, um, could be uh, critical. And um, I did go over, um, I still many modifications that is pushing my mind right now as far as playing this. Um, but mostly, oh, before the turn starts, everybody should say whether you're out of your turret I, and, I am up. I am brave. I do not plan yes, on. Uh, and, I need to see my to targets. To the and to reiterate, if you decide to go down, of course you can't get killed with small arms fire. That's kind of important. Not being not being dead, <laughs> but uh, the disadvantage is you cannot take the first dice. First dice has to go to somebody else on your side. The way we play, if we have a game that has four or more tanks. A button-up tank can't take the first two dice, but as I said before, you don't get killed with small arms fire. Also, since it's not made a thing in the boat action book, if small arms fire does kill the tank commander, and sometimes you'll push and put a whole squad, it is not a pin unless you kill him, and then the tank goes down one grade. But it doesn't making it doesn't. It's one grade only for morale. It's not an experience minus one to shoot. It's just one grade morale if you lose your tank commander. And here we go drawing, and the next, it is an Italian. Okay. He'll probably... Let's keep it right over there. I'm going to beam which, the camera over and let it run. And Bill is probably going to shoot the, this one here yeah. or that one. I'm going to fire that yellow one. Yellow one at the zoom. And I'm going to try to knock this thing out. All right. That is a uh, three plus hits. Can I roll the two? Roll the two. Missed. You got my die out there. Yes. If I, we get another green, I'm going to activate the next tank. That is that. And the Suma is going to fire right back. He again, he hits the threes. He's going to fire. And he hits three plus. And you see what happens. He hits. Uh-oh. That is a plus five. You have a frontal armor of eight, I think. Plus five, plus what I roll is three and five. Used to be eight. I have done superficial damage on that tank, which can be big deal or nothing much at all. And, of course, a lot of times... It's down for the turn, but Bill has already gone this turn, so it's not a big, not as bad as it could be. Superficial damage, we'll roll to that, go to that page, and see what happens. 
Damage results on vehicles, the way it works in bolt action, and we don't modify this. It's what I roll, minus three. That is one or less. Crew is stunned. And let's see if um, I think all it is. Well, I get, I get a pin. Crew is stunned, one additional pin marker. That makes two, and you go down. That is it. All right, so uh, my... I got the pins here, and again, the metal grommets from the hardware store, and brown cotton. Brown the metal cotton. grommets are good because the glue sticks good. I'm trying to be as instructive as I can. The tank has two pins. It's a regular, that is a regular tank. My tank crew is startled. They and got what, hit. And the trouble with tanks is the only way to get those pins off is to do a rally. Hard to do a rally when, um, and you're blocking the road. I have a plan. But, but you have a plan. French is coming up. French is coming up. Oh no. If he French, ha okay. The French. Um, He's going to take. I get into the, have to run into the building. Uh, I'm going to have to go, I'm going all the way around to the front, and all I do is get in to the first floor. That's it. So Ron is occupied the first building. But I barely got there, so uh, I, first floor is it. And, uh, and uh, all right, that's not good, everyone. I mean, that's a he heavy machine gun. I had to do a run. Okay. And we have another. All right. I'm going to get my ruler here and we are going to line up the camera because I'm going to get that tank off that bridge. Uh huh. Now, the old tank off the bridge trick. I can go 14 inches. Uh huh. And still fire. Well, I want to get out of the way. <laughs> okay. 14 inches down this way. Okay. And I'm just doing an advance, correct? Advance? Now, can, you could probably shoot into the building. Let's shoot into the building. We got a gun team in there, right? All right, and you get a minus. Um, you hit the building on four, five, and six. Roll the four. Okay, that means you penetrate the building. Let's go to artillery. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, do I have high explosive with this? Or do yes, I use... yes, you do. Okay. You do have high explosives, and we got the. See if we it's a it's but it's a it's a pip squeak of a um, pip squeak of a gun. Pip squeak of gun. Uh, it only um, uh, plus one uh, hits. It's, oh, it's D three targets. I oh, I cannot go down because I'd already moved. It's D three hits. That's one two three four five six hits. Right. Four. Two hits. Ooh, that could hurt me. Two hits. And um, I'm regular. You, ooh, you plus one. I usually usually kill me on four, five, six. Ready? But this is in a building. It's plus one penetration. You kill me on three, four, five, six. One die, Ron. One die. Three, four, five, six. I roll the three. We have to decide whether to. Um, uh, three, four, oh, wait, row two. You hit two guys, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, so row two. Two guys, and you hit me on three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. A four and a four. Two dead. Two dead. Two dead. Two dead. So of the heavy machine gun team, I killed two of the three. Yes, and that means he's going to be, um, uh, and this is like, notice. Wow. Uh, the yeah. figures are carrying the equipment. It's so cool. And um, you get this equipment at a, through Brick Arms. Brick Arms has a store in Chantilly, and okay. they they sell everything. Have you ever? I've never been there. Uh, have you heard about Brick Arms? I have heard about it. We uh, look them up in um, um, uh, on eBay, uh, Brick Arms. But their their figures, even though they're for Lego figures, they actually look better on 54 millimeter. Okay. In fact, they're a little bit stubbier, but yes, so much for the 
Um, so, so much for the machine gun team. So I, I took out the machine gun team for the most part. There's still one guy with a machine gun. That's correct. You know, so uh, he'll shoot at a minus one. And, um, oh, that's, um, that's more than half. You kill more than half in that team. I have to take a morale check. They're regulars. Regulars. Uh, oh, they get pins. A roll of dice. Pins. Besides the two dead. Um, where's my... Okay, I gotta open up the book again. Okay. Pins. Pins. Um, D2, so you're gonna get one or two. Two pins. So, uh, since they're down there, two pins. One of the things I like about boat action is you know where you are all the time, and you know the status because of the markers. You know the status of everything all the time. You all saw right. him going to ground floor. You pulled up the side of the building and I blasted blew, the building. Blasted the building. It's hard to miss a building. You know, you can miss a building though. Well, okay, this squad's going to go 18. Mm -hmm. So he gets just about to the wall. So I moved my squad up and. So you edit this, it takes you, what, you spend a little bit of time editing it? Okay. Um, so far over here, uh, this may not get edited much at all. Because it's babel time and I don't, we, we don't have any swear words going on or anything. No. It's very PG level here. And some people can fast forward. I will break up some sections. Okay. I am doing an advance to get up here where I can take some cover. Now it's cover because I am. You're literally at the fence. At the fence. So I know it's less than nine, and I, but I still may. Oh, then I might be. I got two potato masher, and I have two potato masher and. Uh, how many rifles? This 10 man squad in it. Three, six, nine, ten. All right, seven rifles, two potato bashers. The pistol won't reach. The range is. In at 36. Sweet. Oh, yeah. You're way in 36. All right, but um, 27. It's still long range for the potato masher. So. Everything long range. First six shots. All right, Ron's firing away. Oh, by the way, you have the option to go down. I don't want to go down because I want to advance. Okay. I'm being aggressive, Ron. Being aggressive. Okay, six shots from the potato mashers. Now, potato diggers. What they call them? Yeah, potato diggers. Six shots, one off for advance, one off for long range. That's it. Six shots, five and six. Nothing. No hits. Nothing. <laughs> Seven shots, rifles. Rifles again. It's uh, long range, they advance. Seven shots, five and six. Two. Then so you get a pin. Alright, I've been hit once. Or two. I've been hit twice, so I get a pin. And here's some pins for you. Oh, I don't need those. I don't plan on needing them. <laughs> <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough cookies. Alright, one pin. Got now they're one. veterans. Okay. Two yeah. hits. I've got to get a five or a six. One. One dead. I got my. Alright, one dead, and you yeah. here, here, see if, if it's an officer or whatever. Officer, a key figure, and 
Oh, it, it really is me pick. And what I'm going to pick is... So Ryan, the, Ryan got a specialty figure. Uh, what I'm going to do is pick the officer. Okay. And now you're not veteran anymore. Um, but it's only order test. You do not take a minus one for shooting. But you're rated, and you don't take a minus... Uh, when I'm shooting at you, you still I still take a five or six to hit you. Or when you have to take an order test is when you drop down to regular. Okay. That, and that's the only thing not having an officer. So you know, only. So order this test. squad has got to get across this stream. And uh, all right, everyone, this squad here is going to run. Run? How fast do I run across this river? It has to be in advance, nine inches. Okay, because I got to get into some cover, and, you know, I, I'm feeling that the Italians are starting to have some issues, so we are going to advance and get across, so we're about here. Oh, what about my pin markers? Oh, <laughs> forgot. Hold it just. I got two pins. You don't start at a ten. You're starting the nine. You lose the seven. You lose the eight. You lose the seven. You have got to get a six on to a, go on a D eight on two ten, two twelve two. That's right. You started as you're now regular, which is nine. You lose nine. You lose eight. Seven. You got to get seven or less on two dice. Okay. Your, your officer is too far away. Is he over nine inches? Yeah, he's over nine inches. Okay, you got to get a seven or you'll go down. I roll a six. One pin comes up. How about the next pin? No, that's, you still got that one. But you Can I roll. advance? Oh, sure. You passed. Okay. So, here we go, everyone. And I take my pin with me, and I have two dead. He advanced nine inches. So pull another cube, Ron. Getting my diet, Dr. Pepper fix for the day. And here we go. It is Italian again. Italian again. All right. Well, I gotta stop fooling around, and we're gonna advance this thing, this uh, tank destroyer. And. We're going to advance. 14, and you can advance 14. I want to advance 14 and try to fire. Can I do that? Uh-huh. Okay. There we go. Can right. I can I zap him? Yeah. I don't even need the... You don't even need... I don't need the periscope for this one. Even though you're above, you'll get some light cover. Okay. Because of the stone wall. Stone wall. All right. You advance, lose a three. Okay. Light cover, lose the four. Now range, I think you are what? I, I am ninety. I am at thirty-ish. You are not long range, and you are at plus five or six. My card's right there. I didn't, I took it over to that side. Five. First, you got to hit. Okay. You got a five or six to hit. Six. Ugh. Okay. And you're plus five. Five to what you roll. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I roll another six. Six and five is eleven. And if you're wondering, everyone, there is the six. Now there, there is eight. You made an eleven. I think that is massive damage. I think. All right. We'll you pause the camera. Twice. I believe. Wow. Let's, let's go and look. We, see here? The worm has turned. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, full damage. It says massive damage. It doesn't tell you how many. We're going to say it three over two. All it right. Doesn't, doesn't say. Massive damage. Okay. Uh, We'll pause the camera here while we figure out massive damage, everyone. Not, um, We're back, everyone. Ron looked up the rule. I'm rolling, what, two dice, Ron? Two dice. 
And I got real good. Right. I rolled a one and a three. Okay, damage value, one and a three. Crew stunned on the one. The three is I'm on fire. The crew is driven and very trapped in a burning vehicle. One additional pull, that's two. And I gotta roll to see if the fire is, um, but what do I? Wow. At first it's down. That's, that's first. It's down. Okay. And then it's inexperience already, isn't it? So that starts at an eight. You got two pins at least. All right, uh, two pins. You got pins. I got there. pins here. Two pins. I'm putting two pins on it. All right. So it loses the eight, loses the seven, and it's on fire. And it's on fire. And I'll have to roll its. I gotta roll a six. I got. In other words, you have to roll its. Uh, I. You have to roll its. Uh, its morale. So it starts with an eight, because it's an inexperienced tank. I lose the eight. I lose the seven for pins. Two dice has to be six. Are below. Six or below. Fire is out. You know. You put the fire out. I put the fire out. <laughs> All right. If the test is passed, this will place a down marker. It's carried to the day is halted. The test is failed. The crews and kid are knocked out. But I, I pass. That's the way I think it okay. goes. You know. But so fire. Put the fire out. Put two pins. Okay. Ten. All right. Italian again. All right. We're gonna fire the anti-tank rifle at it. Okay. Because we are just. All right, anti-tank rifle's range is 72, I believe. Well, anti-tank rifle, 27, uh, what's the range? Um, 30. Oh, 30, oh, it's long range and light cover. So five and six, but you get two shots. All right, do you want me to roll them together? Uh, no, one at a time, so okay. yeah, cause you get two shots. First shot. All right, uh, I gotta get a close up of my Five mic. and six, anti-tank rifle gets two shots. Because you can see on the model, it has a magazine. It has a magazine. In. All right, and five or six. Shot. First miss. one's a miss. The second one is a miss. Two misses on the anti tank rifle. That could have really hurt things. <sighs> the Italians are not shooting good today. No, they're not. All right, and here is. Uh, hmm. We are going to. The whole crew is going to advance right here. It cannot reach the wall. And uh, and it's so it's gonna it's gonna shoot. And there is a light machine gun in this one. Just one. It's got two on the model, but we never have more than one light machine, but it's firing uh, Okay, this is a uh, squad of eight, and the light machine gun has got to be, uh, in other words, they're right here. Two makes two of them only makes one light machine gun. We'll shoot that one first. Okay. Okay, it's going to be, um, uh, you cannot go down. You've already moved this turn. All right, advance. Okay, so five and six will be uh, four shots for five and six. Uh, four shots for five and six. Uh, no, heavy cover. The ones I'm seeing are here. Okay, one for advance, two for heavy cover. I have to hit sixes. Four shots, light machine gun. Nothing. All right, number of rifles are um, six, isn't it? Six rifles. The same thing, and so at the range was 20 long range, it's advanced, it's heavy cover, uh, it's six on sixes. In other words, uh, yeah, it wasn't long range for the light machine gun, it is long range for the rifles. Okay, so um, it's six and sixes. Okay, one off for advance, one off for long range, two off for six and sixes. Uh, one chance to get a, a hit. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, nothing. 
And another Frenchie. Another Frenchie. The, uh, I should have I should have said that one and step step two on the other. You know, that's what I should have done. We can't make an all out. Uh, that tank there, he'll keep just keep firing into the building. You know. Okay, the uh, the commander is just going to. Uh, Go over here, nine inches. All right. You know, that was just, uh, you have to advance over the fence. So that's, uh, that's it, you know. He went there, okay. And Italian. Okay, my plan with the Italians I have to review my my plan here, but I think it's time to try to see if I can drop a mortar shell. How far does my mortar shoot from? My my observation guy definitely see mortar can't affect that tank, right? Oh, 18 and 90. Okay, so he can see that squad there. Yes. So. I'm going to put my fire on my mortar. My spotter sees the squad. Mm -hmm. He gives the team to fire. And we're going to hit that squad with mortar fire. So, Ron kindly hands me the dice tray. I am prepared, Ron. What do I need to hit them, guys? First shot, six. Second shot, same. Nothing. Now, if they don't move, next time, five and six. Okay. Now, with the mortar, you try to find some unit that maybe won't move. All right. I tell you. Okay, my. S I'm checking out my uh, Italian army. Has I got my leader? Um. My heavy machine gun is yet to fire, so I'm going to fire that, Ron. Okay, I think. That's Am a, I in range? That's a medium machine gun. You get more shots that way. Medium machine gun um, is 27 to 54. What okay. you shooting at? I, I'm at long range then there. Right here? Yeah. Long range, light cover. Okay. Five and six, How many four guys? shots. Four shots. And I got two sixes. That's two hits. That is a, uh, that's a pin. I have a pin marker for you. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a pin. And how many hits? You got two? Two. These are regulars. You kill on four, five, six. And I rolled a one and a two. Nothing. Nothing. But regulars, that could be. And Frenchies. Oh, that. My tank, oh, that tank is, he's down. Tank. This tank. This tank has a uh -oh. shot right there. Uh-huh. Is it going to fire? No, no. <laughs> okay. Now, at this, this is going to be, uh, a lot of times I don't give the uh, side shot unless it's here. You know, past this, in other words, past the thing, but it's not. That's it, I'll just stick with that. No side shots. Okay, range on a light anti tank gun is, that's all it is. I'm only at plus three, though. That's the whole thing of these French tanks. They are terrible. 72. Okay, I'm long range. So, long range is it. Long range, nothing else. Long range. I lose the three for long range. Uh, you want to die? Uh-huh, the old <laughs> dice trick. All right, three for long range. Hit on four, five, six. Miss! He missed, but thank goodness. Holy Christmas, Italian. 
my leader, and he's going to be here giving orders to the anti-tank gun. Okay. Oh, is it any tank gun again? Well, it's already fired. Oh. So he can't do anything this turn. No. Oh, here's another one. All right, we got more dice trays, everyone. Uh -huh. All right, Man. is that turn four? That's it. And that was, that was three, or really that was four. You know, wasn't it? Really, I think that was four. I think this is five. Okay. I didn't move my anti-tank. We're going to pause the camera here while we get ready for the next turn. All right, here we go. Turn five. This will be our last turn, everyone, because I need to go back home to my wife. I'm going to be home by 1, 2 o'clock. So. And oh. first off is Fresh. The, the song is going to attempt to take out the Italian tank here. Now, I hit on three, four, five, six, and I shot in, got a four. I've been hit again. You've been hit. That's a pin. No, wow. wait a minute. That's regular. May not be a pin for sure. You know, that's a regular tank. But maybe I'll just watch. That is a plus five, and you're at eight. And five and five is ten. Ten and is two over eight. That is damage. That's regular damage. Now. Yeah, I've been hit again, everyone. All right, that's uh, that's oh, for sure a pin this because tank's been that hit. is. Yes. All right. Here is the damage, the damage thing. Um, you got a pin for sure. That's yeah, I three. put another pin out there. And here we go with the damage. This is just regular. Row one, six knocked out. Uh oh, everyone. Knocked out. Now. Goober looks like he's putting a French beret on, and he's uh, going to join Ron's army. Let's see if we can see it burning. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to get a close-up. We are knocked out burning, and we actually have real fire. Yes, we have fire. It is burning. It is burning. All right. So we lost our, our first tank. Um, so, uh, yeah. A burning tank. A burning tank. So you, it actually has uh, the burning stuff in it. Very nice, Ron. You have all these cool little toys. I'm going to move this. Um, your stuff is uh, very high end. But you're going to pay the penalty for blowing up my tank. You're going to pay the penalty by... I'm going to come 14, 14 inches around... So I'm going to use four inches to get to there. Uh-huh. And you got ten more, and you're still going to be able to... Yeah. And then I'm here. Okay. Now, do I see him? Yes, yes. You see him. Uh, one off are advancing. And uh, no acquire because you're up. Sometimes we get sticky on that. But this time, this learning, you're up. You paid for being up. You can have you could have been killed. So it's going to be a front shot, though, since it's not past this. But one off for advancing. That is it. Uh, How about the wall? Uh, it's too. It, it's uh, he's too far back. Okay. The wall is nothing. So three or better. Uh, lose a three. Four, five, six. Hit. I roll a five. Five. All right. You are a plus. Four, and uh, the sides of this one is not a nine; it's an eight. Okay. This, I, I'm going to say, yeah, this is going to be the sides. Uh, Ready? Yeah. I rolled a th two. Two and four is six. Does not penetrate. I, I think that bounces. The but a regular it could give me a pin. Odd is a pin. It's a pin. I got a pin. You got a pin. I have a pin. All right. You put a pin on the Suma, you know? That Suma has been hurt. And Italiano again. All right, I want to move this squad up. Okay. Um, they can move 18 and run in the building. You got figures in there. Well, yeah, that's, uh, you do. That means you, uh, uh, you fight. <laughs> you know? Okay, we're going in. All right, it's going to be 18. Yeah, you made it 18 versus 1. I mean, 10 versus 1. So, um, you fight. And, 
The only thing is, you know you're going to kill him, so I have one guy to fight back. And you're a regular, aren't you? Yeah. So I kill one of yours on a four, five, six. No. And he wiped out the squad. No. So, everyone. And you want to be all in the building? Yeah. yeah okay. I'll, or I put the leader in and uh, the rest of them are behind. Yeah. This what? Yeah. Look. Here's the, the leader. leader. Yeah, leader's inside, first floor. And, uh,. And those no, are, those no are need. yours. Yeah, there's a dead people. That's the only squad team wiped out this game. So in a way, the Italianos are ahead. You know, they're in the first floor. They're in the first floor. Uh huh. And they've taken the building. And the Frenchies again. The Frenchies. Uh, you gonna charge in the building? Uh, see, maybe you're already done something this turn. That would give you a chance to. I could uh, to demonstrate regular versus regular. Do a regular versus regular. Go, going to. I'm going to run. Going to run, and we're going to have a melee. All right. All right, and um, I have. Uh, Eight guys, one, two, three, four, five. Eight guys, and to kill you, I need a four, five, six. Okay. And you have ten guys, don't you? Yep. The ten to kill me, you have four, five, six. Here is my eight on you. Okay. Eight guys, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four. Killed four. One, two, three, four, five. I lose. And we, unlike How many did you kill me? Four. And there's no saves, no anything. Um, and you pick all. You pick the figure, so I'm keeping it. Okay. Uh, I cost uh, five. Oh, that's over half. I have to pass morale. I get a, um, and I get a pen, of course. You get a pen also. Okay. But I have to pass morale. Uh, uh, yeah. Gonna, here's where I'm, I think it's a, a D something. And we should write this down. But we're going to do one pin for each, just like regular. Although that's not when I write out my modifications. It's in Bill 1. I lost more than half. Bill did not lose even half. I lost more than half. I have to pass morale. It started out at regular. Regular is a nine. A pin makes it a seven. Uh, it makes it uh, the regular start out at a nine. They lose the nine and uh, lose the nine, and uh, they they pass, but the pin stays with them. But they have to vacate. They have to vacate the uh, the area. Four four d six to the rear, rather than boat action. Regular book, they're wiped out completely. But 46 to the rear. Okay. And, uh, 46 to the rear is 8. Looks like 13, 14. 14 inches to the rear. You know? I I think, actually, we have a... Um, so... Loser is a D6 pin versus a, a, a D2 pin. I think um, the loser winner. But I'll, I, write, I'll write that so down. So my Italians hold... Your Italians hold. Your Italians uh, have the hold the building with six guys. Your Italians hold the building. I'm going to write that up. Uh, how, that the loser is a D6 pins and the winner is D2. That kind of a thing. All right. Italians again. All right. I'm going to try to fire that tank. That tank. Okay. The, the tank destroyer. Uh-huh. At? Um, the... the Tank, I thought I blew up, but you put the darn fire out. Put the fire out. Okay, uh, now you're um, you're not long you're you're not long range. You're not um, uh, height cover. You four five six is a hit. Six, six. Now you are plus five. All right. That is an eight. So five plus one 
is six. six. I think I bounced. Uh, but that is an inexperienced tank. It's another pin. Inexperienced, always get a pin. And here it is. So now it's three it's pins. Three pins. I can't believe I, I already hit it good and caught on fire and put it out. Put it out. <laughs> That's, that's why superficial damage sometimes uh, is, uh, is good. Now, Frenchie again. Frenchie again. All right. Okay, this... Uh, what can that... Uh, he is going to... Uh, the leader is going to... Give them an order to fire. You can go down. You're just going to get light cover there. And he is going to, after he gives them the whatever, he's going to run to this, this direction. Okay. So, so he's running. Oh, wait a minute. He can't run because he's got the fence he's got to cross. So first off, I have a unit here that is regular, but they have a pin. So they start at nine, ten loses the nine. I have to get eight or below. Now do I go down? Oh, you can go down if you want. Well, you can wait though to see if I pass. Okay. I think the way we play it. All right. All right, so I'll pass. Eight or below. All right, good, lose the pin. Now, if you want to go down, you can. I want to, if I go down, what's it take for me to get up? You have nothing, you just lose a turn. I'll stand up because I want to get to that wall. <laughs> okay. What I have is two um, potato mashers. The range is um, 2754. That's six shots. Yeah. You're, I think you're under 24 at this point. Yeah, but yeah, you are. Okay, six shots. So um, some light cover because you over two up the way that the obstacles are, even though you're not cover. You get to the fence, it's heavy. Light cover, six shots. Uh, oh, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Um, three hits, and then I got more. Three hits. Now, rifles is seven, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, seven, seven rifles, because I got uh, 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 officer two. Yeah, seven rifles. So three hits so far. Three hits so far. And... Seven rifles. Wait a minute. The rifles are. What was the range? Your twenty-three. So the rifles are long range and the cover. Rifles five and six. Boy, rifles. Four hits. That's seven hits. Okay. Boy, that, that that unit did good. Seven hits. Now they're veterans though, and um, so in, and losing their leader does not seven hits. Veterans, I have to get a five or a six. And uh, three, three dead, and a white one. Now, now I need here, a pin. All right, a pin. I got. Oh, here's here's a pin. Okay. And this ain't good. This is not good. Now, here, what I'll do is I'll key figure. Probably take the light machine gun. You haven't. He's still there, isn't he? I have a guy with a submachine sub gun. gun. You got a light machine gun there too. That. Uh, he's over here. Oh yeah. He's dead. No, he's uh, he's a key figure. You want to? You don't want to pick him. I don't think. All right, reroll yeah. that there. I did that. One, two, three. No, no. Hey, you pick. You pick. All right. So I picked. I got my dead picked. Okay. My and squad is not, below half, right? But yeah, but uh, not in one swoop. Wait a minute. You're four. You lost four that time? Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to take morale. Okay, here we go. One uh, die? Two dice. And what it is, is you, you start... Oh, here you're not... This is where it comes in. You're not veteran. You're regular. And the dice... So you start at nine. You lose the nine. I, I, sometimes you get start war they start at, yeah you lose the nine you have to get eight eight or below I rolled a seven you're you're good all right so it's been costly you to get to that cover more Frenchies French is going he's going to try another shot on your some up there 
All right, we'll pause the camera and redo the angle. All right, my anti-tank gun. First shot, four, five, or six, I roll a one. Yes. Firing at that tank that I've been shooting at. I rolled two ones in a row. Oh my the, goodness. The Italians, the Italians are not firing the, well. The Italians have got into the adult beverages. Evidently, this is a wine producing area, you know, and they're making sure that all okay. the wine is uh, spoken we're, for. All right, I think we're going to have the heavy machine gun um, open up on the guys at the wall. Okay. Light cover, five and sixes, four shots. All right, here we go. Four shots, five and sixes. Four shots with the machine gun, and I got three hits. Ooh, three hits. And three I hits, guess. and we're firing at the at French forces at uh, that and fence that's rail. Regulars. What did I do with, I just picked up a, a tray of pins. My tray is empty of pins. Okay, and here we go. I got a, you got three hits. Three hits. So the pin already. Now, you, those are regulars. You hit kill on a four, five, or six. And we rolled a one, two, and we got one hit. One, six. One dead. One dead, two, one, a one and a two. All right, do the white for a one. Okay, the white for a one, and we roll the seven. So I pick, and I'm just going to pick a... A regular with a bent bayonet. That's what happens to you if you got a bent bayonet. You get you get killed qu quicker. You get okay. killed quicker. And Italiano again. All right. And Ron, I think this is time to try to lob a mortar shell. Mm-hmm. But you move that unit. Yeah. So it's another. Is it BS six again? I'll I'll try it. Now what Do unit? Where are you shooting at? Do I have range from here to that? Yeah, unit? yeah, because it's 90 inches. Okay. I'm shooting at the squad over there running back. This one? Yeah. Oh, to try to knock him. I want to see if I can just kill it off. Okay. Uh, that'd have to be a six. But the thing about it, is he, yeah. the thing about it, Bill, he's running, and you know he'll, he'll run again. The better shot's here where he might stay. Either way, I failed. Oh, but, uh, you know, but anyway. Well, but yes, I, I guess, I don't think he could have seen, yeah, I guess he could yeah, because he he's on high ground so for he, my mortar spot. This one you know he's got to move. This one's got a good spot. That's where you yeah. concentrate Yeah, so mortar. I should have thrown my mortar shell there, but I missed. You missed, so it's a five. I'll see you shot there. So. It's a five now. That, that forces you, the mortar, to force, uh, to you, force somebody to move. Uh, now we have... Uh, Okay, I'm going to um, move my anti-tank rifle. Check the same. If I can run him a whole 18. Uh oh. Get him there, but that's the trouble. The trouble is, that's a whole 18. So we have an anti-tank rifle set up right there. No, and he's really not set up. And he's, or he's, he had to run. He had to run. Yeah, he's. Uh, but he could set up next. He could. Advance and he'll you put the advance down and he'll get to shoot, but it'd okay. be a minus one. In other words, you figured it's a two action right. move, and and so if you set him up to shoot there, it'd have to be minus one because half the half the turn, half the order was setting setting up. You just barely, and that is not the way the the rule book does it. But uh, as I said, I have no. It's, experience with any tank rifles, but I guess I've set up a M60 machine gun, seems like a few thousand times, you know? and, okay, so the mortar, that, that, this squad up here, it has this to squad. check its morale. Oh, that squad's not done anything. No, but All they've right. been getting shot. And this is, this is where they went from veteran to regular, so regular starts at nine, they lose the nine, lose the eight, they gotta get seven or below. Oops, that didn't help, man. Hard, hard to get too much, a seven or below? A 10. There go down. They're down. They're down, that's. I'm down in the stream. Down in the stream, you know. At least they're gonna be clean. Uh, they're looking for a Savino over there. That's yours. You know, whoops, that's, that's, that's that a French mine. cube. 
All right, this tank right here got how many pins? It's got three, I think. Three pins. And he starts out at inexperience. Starts out at eight. Lose eight, seven, six. Ah, uh, no, that's no, that's no good. Eight, seven, six. Infantry. You can't, uh, that's where we're not having enough, uh, enough dice really hurt you because, um, you can't, you can't use, um, waste stuff. But 18 inches. I'm gonna run. Okay. Okay, and I'll, uh, so I got French troops coming up on this flank. The Frenchies are being aggressive. They want Albania for themselves. They heard that there's big titted women there. Oh no, I'm being vulgar, you know. <laughs> and so forth. Well, the Italians are in the stream looking for Savino Loren, you know, and so forth. Italianos. All right. I don't know what I gonna do Ron. Let's see, let's see. That unit's moved, that's moved. Oh I yeah, that's uh, you had nine, that's had, right. Yeah, you lost I you lost had to my lose. tank. So Yeah, you lost the tank. Now so. can I use this die to repair this? No, hey you done uh, <laughs> hey, it's blown up. I I, got, I had to ask, you know, Goober said that well we have a fire extinguisher too, like your tank. Yeah, and I know <laughs> turn off my my uh I've got whole bunch of those. That's, I couldn't find a, not even the best one. That is it for the turn. All right. All right. The well, Italians. Uh, so let swat. me stop it here. Everyone, we have to conclude at turn five because I need to go home and check on my wife, Lisa. And Ron, I want to say thank you for uh, inviting me here. And can you give a, a recap of how this game went? Okay. Meeting engagement between a uh, Fairly good forces on both sides. Not many vets, uh, but um, uh, a lot of fighting. The uh, the French knocked out one Italian tank, but the Italians ran a French unit off uh, completely and wiped out a machine gun squad. So we don't have a, a queer win winner there, except that this was the objective here and only infantry can take and hold objectives. Everything else just helps infantry. And uh, Dave has a six-man squad. I mean, Bill, here already. The sl slight victory uh, to the Italians. Now, what we didn't go through is all the modifications that we would vote action, but the big thing that we do in 54 millimeter, and I think it adds quite a bit of fun, is whether or not the tank commander is up or whether he is down. If he is up, he's got visibility. He, the, the acquire, minus one for acquire that we throw in, is not uh, there uh, as much. And if you're up, you can take the first dice out of the bag. If, of course, if you're up, you can be killed. That's kind of important. You can be killed with small arms fire. Now, if you're down, um, you can take the first dice, but of course, you come around the corner, you come over a hill, minus one acquire uh, to hit someone. And uh, it's not a big deal making some tanks come with a hole. So he just, you know, he's he's up. When Even though that the hole is there. He's, this is considered button up. This is considered up. And some of the tanks, we use magnets. And there's actually a few tanks that I found in a drugstore, a little snap device that actually looks like a turret. Okay. Um, the, I think I like our uh, way we hit officers. So if you hit, you kill three guys, you have, say, a 10% chance of a kill, hit an officer. You kill one guy, you have 10 accumulative. Um, the, me the measurements from squad leader to squad leader is, uh, you know, you have to have some place because a 54 millimeter unit is, um, can stretch uh, 12, 12 inches. Here's one along the fence, a 10 man squad, and it is taking about 10 inches from one to the other. So you have to have a uh, prime uh, Pacific place 
to measure. Um, okay. And what a good game. The big thing was two of us. Bill having nine units, then the French having nine unit also, but only seven dice. And we got through five turns very quickly. If it was four people playing, we could even go faster. But the trick is, don't play boat action, even if you're playing in the smaller scales with more than 12 dice or 12 units. It just takes too long to get through the turn. I feel it's much more fun to have 10 units aside and get six, eight, 10 turns rather than 20 units aside and get through two turns. And, but um, had an enjoyable game and um, hope everyone uh, can learn, uh, take something from the video, use of magnets, uh, and other things, use of storage. The wine box thing is, is great. If you can find them, you'll never find more than one at a time. And, um, but they're great boxes. They're only $5. And um, if you don't have a top, it's not a big deal uh, making a top. All right. And thank you very much. Well, thank you, Ron, for inviting myself and Goober and the, the Traveling Goober. Bear. All right. You're very, very, very welcome. Stay safe, be kind, and be courteous, everyone. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.